molhado. Oh, não. Oh, não. Oh, não. Good morning, good morning. And who is going to join us today, Cookie? Hello, hello. Is yoga restored today, guys? I know it's probably a nice day outside, it's still warm. Still some warmth from yesterday. <laughs> right? Are you okay, buddy? We took some shots yesterday. My poor thing. Still not feeling very good. Hello, who's there? Who's there? It's nine o'clock, time for yoga restore. Um, <clears throat> gonna wait for a little bit more people to show up. Maybe people didn't notice the time, it's not 9.30, it's at nine today. Who is there? Say hi, so I know who you are. Maybe it's just me and you today. <laughs> um, we're gonna need a chair. We're gonna just use the chair right in front of us, facing us. If you have a chair close by, by please. Oh, hi, Coco, good morning. Oh, enjoy your grandkids. Enjoy your grandkids, my friend. All right, not a lot of people showing up today and that's completely fine. We're gonna start anyway. We're gonna start here um, sitting. I have something, I have something to sit a little higher. My sit bones are lifted. I'm gonna engage my core. I'm gonna bring my belly really in. Um, having this engaged, it lengthens your spine. Shoulders roll down, hands down on your lap in your hand in your on on your legs and then we're going to take some deep breaths here now the first breath that we take i always say is the most important is the breath that you are asking to arrive into your body so taking a nice inhale exhale deep inhale exhale you're breathing your mind is going to trying to search where are the places that has more tension when you're connected when you are aware when you are mindful with your body you can rec recognize where are the parts that are tense where are the habits that you create tension do a little bob head here just a very gentle one forward side and back um, the cervical spine is not meant to do big circles but little circles are, are okay so a little bit forward a little bit back a little bit forward and then sideways Let's reach the arms all the way towards the sky. 
grab whatever hand you want and this grabbing can be like between the fingers to the side whatever suits your shoulders and then maybe your hand can be down towards the head i'm just gonna reach side to side to awaken those side muscles the muscles that are between every rib cage it's it's kind of hard to stretch and it's but it's really important that's why sometimes it gets so hard for us to breathe right and then we're going to just interlace the fingers behind reach the knuckles roll the shoulders back open up the chest open those shoulders now release your fingertips on the ground and just puff a little bit just the upper back not the low back you don't have to round so much the low back but just press your fingers maybe look towards your belly reaching down with your neck here then interlace your fingers press them right in front of you to stretch the hands reach up and then reach forward again maybe we're just gonna do a little side to side stretch keeping that arm that you pull in kind of as, as straight as you can and then one more and then we'll release relaxing the shoulders breathing in breathing out and we're gonna start right away here so in this in this practice we're gonna use the chair right in front of us so go grab your chair if you have one and i'm very sure you probably have one okay now i have my little pillow to have my knee right on top and i will sit in my toes you're gonna feel this right away hello hello finally someone show up Hi guys, hi Jill, hi Catherine. Hello. So we just started, we just did a little breath um, and we're gonna use the chair if you wanna join us today. Otherwise, doing replay is also fine. So sitting in your heels, feeling really the stretch in your toes, you're gonna feel a, a deep stretch here. And then with the chair right in front of you, we're gonna take a deep breath in and out. Surrender through your shoulders. Now slide your hands closer so it's not too much pressure in your toes. Still feeling, but not as much. And then from here, try to lift your knees off. In my case, I'm lifting my knees off my pillow. Now distribute the weight back so now you're feeling the stretch in your in your low back, in your mid back, in your upper back, and even in your shoulders. And then we'll release again. Oh, stretching the toes. And as long as I've been practicing, as long as I've been teaching, has been a while, dealing with all kinds of um, bodies all kinds of history all kinds of trauma this is one that the majority of people gets really like i can't do this but it's very important to open your feet so we lift again we send we lift the knees we send the butt back unless you have ankle or knee issues that you cannot do it that's fine take your deep breaths, you can maybe uh, be seen in the chair and just pressing your toes down or not having to sit in your toes this way. All right, now we bring it back. Now what we're gonna do is walk the knees back, having the forearms and the elbows, and then maybe releasing the forehead on your chair. If you have a very hard chair, like a folded chair, and if it's really hard, bring a blanket on top of your chair so it's not too uncomfortable. Now I can release into my chest. This is actually the length of the chair is a good length for me. So I feel the opening in my shoulders and I can relax my belly and my chest. Some people goes 
this kind of stretch can be too much for their shoulders so you can kind of hold back a little taking one more inhale cookie uh -uh. and then we're gonna round the spine come back up left knee goes in your prop if you have a pillow i always recommend one for the knee we're gonna turn and open open the body to the right side left forearm left elbow is in the chair right toes are all the way forward and straight and then the right arm is going to go up and over maybe just maybe depending on the length of your chair depending if it's kind of close to you you can even touch the the head of the chair here we're going to take a nice breath in and out using the chair as a prop is a great way to open the body especially in the morning now the right leg is going to step to the right side of the chair bring the right hand lift bring the right hand to the right leg and just slide a little bit forward until your body can any further until you feel this is too much we're going to bring it back again the left forearm is going to go down the right leg is going to step out and then we're going to reach the right arm again and then maybe over puffing that right rib cage exhale release my dog is eating my carpet no no this is what happens when you don't give them attention right just like kids they find trouble all right we're gonna reach to the same place back if it's too much for your shoulders you can stay right here and just kind of release the shoulders down okay um, holding with the strength in your legs so you don't have to go all the way down now I'm really arching here my back I'm really sinking into my shoulders because I can it feels good taking one more breath all right I'm gonna round my back come back up now my right knee is gonna, and I'm not gonna face you guys this time. Tucking the right toes, open the chest to the other side, forearm stays, left arm goes all the way. You're trying to reach for the front of the room. Now as you bring back, you step the left foot all the way to the front, let your toes face that way, and then slide your hand where you can towards that left leg. Bring back. We're gonna do it again. Forearm comes down. Left leg steps back. Left arm reaches up and then over. All right, hand down in your chair. Now you're gonna be on your knees, pressing the chair and lifting reaching back to a downward facing chair. Now your feet are pressed down, your butt's going back like someone is pulling you back. And then reach back again, gently lowering the knees down to the floor. Bring your forearms back to the chair. We're gonna lift the knees back and going back to that same downward facing chair. Take a nice breath in. Now, maybe in this one, your heels touch the ground. We reach forward again. We lower the knees. Take the right hand and reach back. Bring back to the chair, taking the left hand and reaching back. A very easy twist here. As you reach hands again towards your chair, lift your knees. Press back to that downward facing chair. Again, don't have to force it. Bring it back, knees down. Lower your forearms. Lift your knees and reach it back. If you can lower your forehead in the chair, it would be great too. Keep acknowledging the back of the legs. And 
gonna lower your knees again. One more time, lengthening, lifting your pubic bone, engaging your core. We're gonna open the arm to the right and back. Bring it back, we open the arm to the left and bring it back. One more time, we're gonna lift, reach for that downward facing dog. Everything is very slow, very nice and engaged as you move. You know exactly where to move your strength, where to move your awareness. Forearms, lift your knees and go back again. We can, can just hold here to open more of the back of the legs. Breathing in and in and out through your nose. guys now we're gonna lower one knee let's start with the left knee on the ground step the right foot kind of the outside of the chair move your hand where it suits you we're gonna take a deep breath maybe this is all you can do today with that right leg straight keep that chest open keep that chest uh, lifted but without doing this with the tailbone I want you to lift that pubic bone so you're feeling that left knee press down and then instead of facing the leg, we're gonna face the chair. And then if there's space for you to go, you lower your forearms or you just hinge forward a little bit. And then we're gonna breathe here. Remember your spine is long. There is a beautiful line from the back of your neck all the way down to your sacrum. Take another breath in. Now we're gonna slide the right foot in a little bit so you can bend your knee and sink into that hip. Reach it back. If you wanna slide your foot forward more, soften those shoulders. And then again back, take another breath in and out. And then we reach again. Bring that knee back. There's the same thing, the other leg. Step your left foot to the left side of your chair. Straight that leg. Open up the chest. Take a deep breath in. Maybe all you need is here today. Maybe you can go lower, just hinging forward. So your hamstring, if the back of the leg's going to feel, or the forearms down. belly in, trying to lengthen your spine. And then we're gonna slide the heel, bending the knee and sinking into that hip. Reach it back just to give that hip a break. And then we reach again. You can always readjust your legs. All right, bringing that leg back. Awesomeness. Now we're gonna do just a few, just a few of standing poses with the help of the chair. So instead, just instead of using your blocks, you're gonna use a chair, okay? Even better. We're gonna lift the knees with the help of your arm strength, step the left foot forward, drop your back heel down. So heel to arch, just like a warrior two variation or trikonasana. So keep your hand, whatever side of the chair in or to the highest level of your chair, but make sure your hand is kind of level with your foot and with your ankle. We're gonna reach the right arm up and open that heart, maybe coming even higher. You can use the block and on the chair. It makes it easy. Err. Hand comes down. We're gonna bend the knee, we're gonna lift the back heel off the ground. And then you can 
you step back, there's more space. So your knee gets really close, if not touching that chair. So the ankle and the knee stays leveled. Now press the back heel all the way down to the floor. Thinking about elongation, growing taller and longer with your spine. We're gonna go there one more time. If you need to readjust, you can step a little bit. Foot goes down and arm, left leg straight, right arm goes all the way. Breathe in and out. Hand goes back down. Lift your back heel, bending the knee and open up the chest. Roll your shoulders back. Awesome, guys. Now we're going to straighten that front leg, bend a little bit the back, and then step forward. So now we're in a halfway pose. So arms, hands right underneath the shoulders, knees, uh, hips, and ankle at the same level, lifting that tailbone, rolling the shoulders back, taking a deep breath, and then just start to bend your elbow and see where your hamstring can take you. And then when you can go any further without rounding the spine, you come back up. We exhale, we fold. We inhale, inhale and lengthen. One more time. Exhale and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Awesome. Now the right foot's going to step forward. The left foot's going to step back. Heel to arch. Keep the right hand open. I need to get a little closer to the chair. Open the left arm up to the sky. Nice breath in. Oh, it feels good in my neck and my shoulder. Breathe. One more breath. Release the hand all the way down. Lift your back heel. Step back a little bit and bending that front knee to lengthen. Remember, there's a growing sensation in the spine. And then the left heel, keep going down to the floor so we can stretch that calf and that Achilles. All right, we're gonna do one more time. We lift the heel, we step down the foot, we reach the left arm up. Make sure you're tucking a little bit, tucking, I mean untucking the right and tucking the left down, the left hip bone. And then the hand goes down, and then one more time. Soften through your shoulders. Now we're going to reverse instead of we looking at our chair, we're not. We're going to do kind of a variation of camel pose with the chair. And I'm always bringing that pillow so you remember that there is this, this version that you can do. So the first variation, <clears throat> and remember because you have a chair that you can control, you can always slide forward or back and grab some of my mat. So it's going to depend of your leg length, your torso length, your arms length, your chair height. So it depends on all of this. So if you have a very short chair and if you're really tall and if you're really uh, tight in your quads, in your low back, uh, you're gonna need a higher chair or maybe use just the, something else, right? Something that you can lengthen more of the spine instead of trying to go here. Right? So we're gonna tuck the tailbone, engage in the glutes, lifting through the pubic bone, open up that chest area as your hands go back. <clears throat> Shoulders rolling back and shoulder blades together. Take a few breaths here. into the pose, take a deep breath in, 
Now we're gonna do, use another variation for this one. We're gonna keep the left knee down. We're gonna step the right foot forward. We're gonna keep holding the chair. As the right foot goes, try to send the intention, the hips forward. So now this is where you're gonna feel them even more into the left quad. Keep your hands back if you can, and then keep lifting your heart up. Again, do not force it. Go where the body can take you. Go with the edge of your own stretch. Take a few more moments. Breathe in, breathe out. You can make a fist if it feels better for you too. All right, reach back. Ooh, that was intense. And then the left leg goes forward now. Take your time. Now I'm gonna switch my hand so I'm now in a fist. even higher. All right, bring it back. Awesome, guys. Beautiful. Now, as we sit just in front before we go down on our mats, just gonna find a, a cross-legged position and use your chair to lower your head and just take a few moments here. Now, some people, this you already going, it's going, uh, you're already, you are already feeling the stretch in your hips. Now, if you wanted to bring one leg forward, forward, straight, and to the side, you can do this. You might be feeling into that right leg. Now, if you feel like, oh, I can do both legs. You do both legs, but if you feel like your low back is rounding too much, and I have something like I have underneath me, so it lifts my, my sacrum, and then you can go down here. Taking those sweet, deep inhales and exhales. a few more breaths. You can bring it back and just fold a little bit to that right side. Bring it back and fold to the other side. Bring it back, lengthen on the spine. Take a nice inhale and exhale. And then we're gonna bend the knees. Now, now let's see here. We're gonna go down. Low back, low back is going to be supported by something. And I need to move this, otherwise you guys are not gonna be able to see me. This is a very heavy chair. So low back and something a little higher. Yeah, you're gonna see just half of my body right now. So, feet on the chair, right in the edge of the chair. Okay, hands in your belly. We're gonna take a few deep breaths here, in and out through your nose. Relaxing the head, swinging side to side your head. Just see if I can bring this back more. My music, my stuff. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a little bit better. All right. So.
So let's go back there. It can be a very intense class, even though our easy movements, it can be intense when we bring a prop this big into the practice. Um, it's always one of my favorites to use a prop to help us open. So now with our feet, press down in the chair, make sure your chair is not slipping away. It's not on the floor, at least if the front two legs should be on your mat, okay? Now, head is relaxed, maybe take your ponytail if you like me, ponytail is in the way. Bring your hands now by your sides, and then we're gonna just gently, just gently, tuck the tailbone under and start to lift just your low belly off the ground. When you're lifting and when you find a hollow sensation in the belly, this is where I want you to stay for just a little bit. We're gonna take a deep breath in, trying to, try to really actually put a lot of air there in the belly and then exhale. And then you lower slowly down. All right, surrender your shoulders. Let's go again. We're gonna press the feet. We're gonna lift slowly off the floor. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And then you lower slowly on the mat. All right, we're gonna do one more time. We're gonna press our feet. We're gonna lift our low back. And then we're gonna soften completely the belly. It's a great exercise for your stomach area. If you're always with a uncomfortable feeling in your stomach, that comes a lot from anxiety. And then we come back down. Beautiful. Now sending the knees out, keep the outside of your feet on the chair. And like I said before, if your chair is a very hard chair, is a wood chair or um, the metal chair, having at least a blanket on top so it feels comfortable, okay? I'm gonna sneeze, I think. <coughs> Woof! <coughs> Bless me, thank you. All right, now we're gonna swing the knees side to side a little bit. Swing side to side, feeling that low back. I have a great, very comfortable pillow underneath my low back here. Now this time you're gonna keep your left foot so left knee is out, left outer foot is down, and then try to cross wherever your right uh, foot or leg is going to be. If you can, maybe you're crossing the leg over the other one. It can be a very deep twist. And then we reach back, and then the other leg, the other right foot goes down, and then you reach to the other side. So you can have the foot on top, you can have the back of that ankle, or you can slide, or you can cross. I found the floor, holding here for one more breath, and then we bring it back again. Now we're gonna straight the right leg, wherever place your, um, the back of the leg on the chair, make sure it's comfortable if you need to move the chair, and then you can relax that leg. We're gonna bring the right knee to your chest, and then the right hand is supporting the right leg. You're gonna move it towards the right side. And with something, if you have like a pillow underneath, it's of course normal with gravity. Your body's gonna kind of reach that way and your low back's gonna move a little, the left side of your low back's gonna move out of the floor. And it's good that you have a prop underneath you. Now we're gonna straight the right. We're gonna move the left towards us. Soften the belly. Soften your eyes. And then when you're ready, you can move the leg to the left. You can use more props. You can use the block to support your leg. I'm using my hand here to hold my leg, but again, is the, the length of my arm, it reaches exactly where I can stay in my, in my flexibility. And then I'm moving slowly back. 
right, it feels like a shorter class today. I didn't have a lot of people, maybe people thought it was at 9.30, maybe people couldn't make today. So uh, our last, our last one, I have the chair. So I have right the back of my knee supported by that chair and that chair is really comfortable, right guys? So I don't know how would you feel with a different chair. So I'm pointing my toes. I have that chair supporting me so I can lift my hips off the floor. It's a great variation uh, for fish pose. It's a great variation for shoulder stance. This is a great pose. If this is too hard, you can always bend the knees and try to lift your hips instead of having the legs straight. Take a few more moments. Breathing into the belly, chest. Keep your neck long. And then exhale, surrender. Oh, yes. Now, this is my favorite part, okay? <laughs> it must be yours too. So I have that very comfortable chair. My legs are out. I can space my legs out. It feels good to feel like my legs are supported. I've been walking, like not walking, but standing up a lot. When the weather gets that good, I have more energy to do all the things that I have to do. So my legs are being throbbing a lot. So this, this Viparita Karani with the chair is a great place to be. So I have my blanket. If you're cold, I recommend a blanket. Two blankets even. <laughs> having your legs supported by the chair your arms can be overhead from the beginning to keep on releasing the shoulders i have my my pillow underneath my low back to still keep that shape in my low back instead of having all the way down to the floor it feels better for me and then just like the beginning you start with a deep exhale out. Releasing your face muscles, release your chin, your cheeks, your jaw, your eyes, release your forehead. Now really listen to what the body wants to do with the arms. If your arms are too much here, if you want to go even more, you can hold your elbows to stay. Somehow, uh, my arms overhead for relaxing, it feels great for me, but not usually for a lot of people. So the chest is opening with your inhales. Toes are relaxing, the back and the front of your feet are relaxing too. The in and out through the nose expands the ribcage and softens the lips. The back of the eyes and the lids of the eyes, very warm sensation for the eyes. If any feel right in the pose. Readjust. If the chair is not a great place today, release the chair. So now ask your body if there's any other space in you that you still hold in tension. For me, one of those places is my neck. So my mind is always telling me that my neck should be in a certain way, my head should be facing up. So remember, your head is okay any place it wants to fall or it wants to stay. Our skull shape is different. We have, it's not a perfect round. So let your head follow the shape. So 
is hard for you to not focus on your thoughts. Remember that you have the best tool, your breath. Your breath expands, your breath calms, your breath brings you awareness to the present. lovely friends thank you for joining me today um, stay for as long as you need the sun is is peeking out right now and I really hope you find peace in those moments you that with this practice you find some opening and that you can enjoy your day even more all right I wish you all a beautiful sunny hard open day namaste